Hey there, I'm Anthony Romano, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you the whole deal with plateaus on keto and how to avoid them. And basically, if you start off keto right, you won't encounter these plateaus, and basically everything will seem very easy. So the inspiration for this video was brought to me from a conversation I was having with a coaching client, and essentially we were discussing how a lot of people he know he knows are encountering these plateaus, but he didn't really have a problem with that partially because of the way we set up the plan and because of his own diligence in counting calories at first, but not necessarily aiming for a deficit, just seeing what he was naturally eating. And this eventually led to a very streamlined process. So I have the messages up here as well. But before I get into this video, I'm going to say keto way guide should be up. Keto bodybuilding shirts should be up. Check the website, okay? And also the quarantine, I took a little break, so everything's all smooth in that regard. Thanks, Davey. So, we're now going to be going into the video. So, if you're concerned about plateaus on keto, I'm going to explain them for you right now. So essentially, a lot of people will start keto and they won't have a calorie goal, which is fine at first. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I've explained the two sides of the fat loss coin, or really the metabolism coin. There's the quantitative and the qualitative. So basically, you can either count the quantity of the total energy you're consuming, or you can look at the quality of the foods and their likelihood to cause fat storage. That's essentially the gist of keto. So eventually, you'll get to a point where you if you focus on only one side of the coin you'll plateau because you're not managing the other side of the coin so calorie dieters eventually they will reach a point of such low calorie intake that they have to produce a hormonal response a qualitative response in order to actually progress past a, past a plateau so they'll have to do shitloads of cardio they'll have to drop their carbs when they're no, not keto adapted they have to drop the carbs eventually which is another great reason why you should just start keto in the first place but on the other hand, you have a lot of keto dieters, which they'll start off the easy approach, just cut out carbs and eat as much food as they want. And in the grand scheme of things, their insulin, the fat storage hormone, will probably be lower than somebody who's actually eating less calories than them, but including carbs. So essentially, you'll have these people, they'll lose 40, 50 pounds, but then they'll plateau because essentially their body reaches a homeostasis point. And the only way to progress past that is to now start dropping the energy intake a bit to create more demand on the body to tap into its own fuel source. So at both sides of the coin, we see that you have to push the other side in order to progress past a plateau. So essentially, the way you prevent this and the way you make the process so easy, okay, and I mean ridiculously easy, like this is a conversation I had with a client of mine. So thank you. Great conversation together. Again, uh, you know who you are. But Essentially, we started off speaking about how people he knows and people in Facebook groups, they have these plateaus, and he was asking me some questions about it. So essentially, the way this started off was we were assessing his progress, he had made great progress, and you know we got to a point where we said, okay, let's just drop the calories by a slight margin, 100, 200 calories, that's it. And because he's already feeling great with keto, he's kind of mastered keto, he's gotten adapted, which is something we always prioritize if you work with me, it's that he really got to a point where he's like, is it really that easy? And it is. The only problem is that people don't start off correctly. And he reassured it feels too easy, but it, it, it really is because when you start off an approach, whether you like a carb diet or a keto diet, you have to start off balanced. And if you don't, you'll reach a point where you run into problems and things get harder as you progress. Meanwhile, if you start off with keto, things get easier because you simply eat keto and then slowly drop your calories. So the way you approach this is you start off and you count your calories to assess where you're naturally stopping eating food every day. So you don't necessarily have to shoot for a calorie goal, but during your first week of keto, it's very advisable, during your first few weeks of keto, it's very advisable that you count your food just for two reasons. The first one is that you get the habit of actually counting because most people will start keto and then including that habit is too arduous for them. And you have that habit and also so you know where you're feeling full. And if you know you're feeling full at 2,000 calories a day, beautiful. By the time you're 10 pounds lighter and your metabolic rate has dropped a bit, from there, all you really need to do to start progressing past that plateau is add a little more demand. 
tip the scale in favor of the quantitative side of the coin a little bit. Okay, and these are my own, you know, explanations and theories of these concepts because I've never seen anybody explain these concepts before. But it is absolutely how things are because you can't have only one side of the coin in anything. There's a balance with any approach you take. So once you have that hormonal side of the coin in check and you've gotten the habit of counting and you have an idea of where you're stopping to eat every day, now you know, okay, I can simply remove an egg from my omelet every day. I can simply remove, you know, the amount of bacon you had for breakfast, okay? What, something like that, okay? I can simply have, buy smaller avocados, whatever, okay? The point is, once you know where you're stopping to eat and you have that logged, it's all a matter of slowly removing a few calorie sources every day. Well, every few weeks, because of course your metabolic rate has slowed down a bit when you weigh 10 pounds lighter. So essentially that is how you make things so easy because at that point you've already gotten the foundations down. And again, to further illustrate this dichotomy between the two sides of the coin, we have, you know, like I said, things will start off very easy with keto. And if you want to keep them easy, you have to manage the quantitative side in some way. If you start with a a calorie diet, for example, a carb based calorie diet, eventually, you're gonna have to get to a point where you drop the carbs. And if you haven't already put yourself in a low carb ketogenic state, that is where you will encounter problems. In order to progress past a certain point, you'll have to drop your body's primary energy source, which at that point will be carbs, right? And if you're not adapted to that, if you haven't put in the hard work at front, up front, you're gonna have problems. So basically, the dynamic here is, if you start off with a calorie diet, things will be very easy at the start, but then they'll get very hard. If you start with a keto diet or a, you know, qualitative side of the coin, things will be hard at first because you have to manage your carb intake and essentially you have to get adapted in a certain way. So it's hard up front, but then gets way easier as you go. So the best way to manage any fat loss diet in my eight years of keto bodybuilding in my years of coaching and in trying all these other diets for longer than eight years Essentially, what I've learned is the best way to start a diet for any purpose for fat loss is to start off with a keto approach, get adapted, and then from there, slowly work in the other side of the coin. It's a lot harder if you go from the other side. However, I know lots of people who prefer that, and maybe you are one of those people. I'm not bashing those diets. I'm just saying that inevitably on either one of those diets, you will reach a plateau, and the way you remedy it is by incorporating the other side of the coin. So... On keto it tends to come a lot easier and for a lot of people it's because they're not counting it's because they don't have the habit of counting they don't know what calorie amount they're feeling full at and overall they might nail their keto macros they might nail a diet plan that feels perfect for them it feels it has enough variety it makes them still able to get food they enjoy but the point is you have to eventually incorporate the other side of the coin and that is how you burst through a plateau on a keto diet or any fat loss diet for that matter. So essentially, you will have to be diligent up front. You'll have to be very diligent up front on any diet you do. It's just that with the calorie carb oriented approach, things get harder as you go and you eventually have to start forcing cardio, lowering your primary primary energy source, okay? With keto, it's hard up front because you gotta quit carbs, right? If that's new to you, that's a problem. And there's other tactics you can do to make things easier. You can incorporate intermittent fasting, other things like that. However, as far as the grand scheme picture things, I've just illustrated that for you there. So essentially, a lot of people start off keto and they simply just cut out the carbs and they they won't count because it's easy that way, right? You have to dig deep and start to count, get that habit in because it's far easier if you do get that habit up front. And also because if you're using an app or something like that, it actually saves your food for you. And you can not only see what you ate every day for the past few weeks and what calorie amounts you've been hung full at, but you can also see a way easier time counting because your foods are already logged in there. You don't have to, you don't have to, you know, keep scanning new foods or keep punching in new foods. They're already logged on your phone and saved on the app. So that is essentially the, you know, perfect way I could explain this and the best way to start off a keto diet. If you want help doing this personally, reach out to me on my website and apply for coaching and we could have a call for free and assess whether or not it's right to work together. And at the same time, I'll have programs dropping soon, which can help you to do this yourself without needing to have constant, you know, oversight and constant, you know, reassessing of your goals and help me essentially helping you stay on track. But also we have free guides 
other keto merch on the site so check out my website in the link below and leave me some comments if i can help you in any any other way thank you very much my name is anthony romano peace Oh,